ように。Hi guys, welcome back again to another episode of Harry Show. So over here today, we are in the TC lab, the Taylor's College Science Lab, and we'll be trying out science, science experiment. experiment. Fire. So on my left here, we have Jason. Fire. So bro, as a wise man once said, safety is number one per. Make sure you have your rubber glove, 3D glasses, and the coat. Cool. Do not attempt this at home unless you have adult supervision. So today we're gonna start by watching a few online DIY science experiments before attempting them over here. Magical fire. So what we have today now is a CD, a lighter, and a candle. So we had to actually sign paper the thing because I don't think tape works. Exactly. That's a lie. Let's light it up. It has been lit. It's like a mini campfire. Okay, try blowing and see. <laughs> <laughs> we try another one. <laughs> Whoa! A plus for blowing. You can do one more? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so plasticky. It works. A for effort. So for the lava lamp, we have oil, food colouring, two droppers, and Malaysian aspirin, redoxon. So they said to put water first. Okay. So I'm going to, alright, I guess you can see like there's water. Oh. You want the red one or the blue one? I'm okay, but which one do you want? I'm just going to drop it. So I'm making bubble tea. It's like colour bubble tea, we. Yeah. It actually works. It's so cool. Yeah. It's a DIY budget lava lamp. But like your chips kits. Yeah. This works. Right now, we're gonna make bubbles with soap, soap. some straws, and a cotton string. Yeah, so I'm gonna pour some soap in here and pour some water so it's a soapy water solution. And Aaron is gonna fix the straw into a frame. And yeah, we get to it. Right, it's actually dish soap. It's so jelly. Video says to put the cotton string in there. Now, you want to do the honor to pop it in the middle? We're gonna pop it. Yeah. Three, two, one. <gasps> can the camera see it? This is so cool. It's like literally a circle and then you can move it. You look nasty. So for the next one, uh, 
I don't really know what to call it, like a water floaty floaty experiment. Basically, we have a plate, we have a candle and a, an empty glass jar. jar yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill up some water and we're going to light the candle and we're just going to close it. And somehow, the water level will rise. Not like a CGP. Spice box! Cute Kenny G. Aaron is gonna take this glass jar and we're gonna close it directly, super fast. Yes. Can you do it? Yeah. 3, 2, 1. It rules. Yep. So the water floaty floaty thing, it's a go. Moving on, what we're gonna do is the lighter thing. Smoke, then yeah. light, then boom. Okay, yeah. connect. I'm gonna light this up. Okay, so it's lighted up. After you extinguish the flame, you don't even have to actually touch the flame. You just yeah. like put it near it and poof. You need to hit the smoke. Yeah. Alright. Trick shot. We're gonna try bending balloons. Spotter bending, but no. In the balloon. Here we have a lighter. Lighter. <laughs> we have a fire candle. And a rubber balloon. Yeah. Stay safe. We're gonna try once with yeah. a normal balloon. And another one with a water balloon. A red balloon. There is no water. So we like float. It explodes. <laughs> now we're gonna try with water in the balloon. Erin, <laughs> please blow. <laughs> so hard to tie a balloon with, with gloves. Okay, so there's water in there now. So let's see whether does it actually pop. So what are we going to do now, Aaron? So that's what you to say what we're going to do. The video showed that if we actually use one pin, one pin, the balloon will pop. But if we use multiple pins, the balloon will not pop up. Interesting, right? I can't fathom it too. What do you think, Aaron? I have no brain, I can't think. So one pin. What the f- Oh no! It's the green one. I'll hold it for you. <laughs> I don't like that song. Oh, we're gonna try it with multiple pins, alright? It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pins, yeah. Here we go! I mean, it still popped, but it didn't pop that fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. So guys, we're gonna do the ring of 
fire. Okay, guys. There. Tipo! And. And. Baking soda and sugar. Yeah. Who wants this one? Okay. The sand as the base. All of it? Yeah. Not all of it, but like the platform. Trench it with. Zippo! Or lighter fluid. Alright. So trench it. I'm in love with the soko. So they said to use four cups of sugar and one cup of baking soda. So we just gotta pour this over. Do you think it will work? Stay tuned. Slap like and subscribe. <laughs> Aaron, do the honors. But like this thing. Up. Drum roll. Let's do a start. You look at that, it's actually growing. So, sand, sugar, and baking soda, and you get something this cool. Fire! We don't need editing now. Alright, cut. Alright, guys, so that's all for the experiment for today. Science is cool! Science is cool! Alright, so don't do drugs, stay home and study and you get to do all this experiment. Yeah! So if you like this video, you can like, subscribe and comment down in the description link below. And if you actually had a chance to do all this experiment at home, do feel to tag us. You can tag us at Instagram, POSC.star. It will appear somewhere here, as usual. Here, 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 here. So that's all for today and thank you for watching this episode. Bye-bye!